Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Gio. The Everything Podcast, the Anything Podcast. We back with another one, man. I got your boy, Rich Homie Quan, man. The autopsy came back. They said, what was going on, man? They said he had that fentanyl in the system, man. What's going on, man? Who gave him some fentanyl, man? You know, they. that's what they saying. And he haven't had it before. So what what makes him have it now? Who did he get it from? Who he was dealing with? They saying allegedly his his girl had something to do with it. Allegedly his his, his brother, you know, one of the siblings and stuff, man, that was at the house that left him where he was at, man, and he he passed right where he was at, man. And I mean, if it was my brother, you know, or anybody else, I'm pretty sure y'all be checking on him nonstop. Y'all wouldn't even leave. We wouldn't leave. We would be making sure that everything is good, man. And they left him there, and he said he put the cover on him, and he left him there, and his wife, she left, she saw him, and she came back, and he was still there, and they know what this dude was doing, man. They know what type of drugs he was taking, man, and what was going on, man, and, you know, his scenario, and, you know, the beef between him and, 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 and Young Thug, and why he fell back, because he knew he didn't want to, you know, fight that battle with Young Thug. Young Thug got them guys, man. Young Thug, I ain't saying rich homie don't either, but... Young Thug, that dude, man, in Atlanta, man. So, got to be on your P's and Q's. He said, look, I'm, I'm good with all the smoke. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm going to fall back. Like, y'all do y'all thing. You know, maybe they would have been able to work that out, man, if Thug wouldn't have got locked up. You know what I mean? And made, you know, a mixtape or something, man, or came together on a joint album or any type of thing, man. But, you know, that's the run-up, man, on what they saying, man. They saying your boy had got caught with that fit and all. Whoever gave that to him, I'm going to let y'all know now, man. It's going to be a... A big problem, man. They they allegedly saying that your boy Pee Wee Longway had the stuff out there, man, and it was something of his and whatnot, and that's why part of the reason why he got locked up. But also they saying that your boy Vlad got him out of here, man. So we'll see when you know more information come out. But right now, that's what they saying, man. He had that fentanyl, man. It took him out of here, man. And uh, they saying that you know the eyes on the family. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video here, man. Check this one out, man. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. Hit them comments, man. Let's talk about it. I'm trying my best to answer everybody, man. You know, I'm working on so much stuff right now, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to be connecting with y'all. And I'll tell you this, when we hit that live, it's going to be up and running. It's up and up. You know, we're going to run it up. Y'all going to have a lot of times to connect with me. And even the members, too. The members, they're going to have their times and they perks as well, but... To all y'all, all y'all family, man, we're going to run it up, man. I appreciate y'all support, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Drop them comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. To the next one, I'm out. Is he an artist or something? Yeah. What's his stage name? Rich. You told me? Okay. Um, what's your name? Amber Williams. What's a good contact number for you? Okay. I want you to do the birth number. Okay. Okay, look, they're working on him. Everything's gonna be okay. Um, we're gonna take him to the hospital. Is, he, be, is anything out of pulse or anything? He, he has his eyes open, so they're just trying to, you know, whatever they pumped him right now. If he, if he, something was gonna be happen, they want to take him to the hospital. So they're about to take him to the hospital right now, okay? So. That means that, you know, Grady's the best, and that means they got something they can work with, okay? Yeah. So you didn't order any DoorDash, nothing at all? No, he orders all the time. He orders all the time, okay. Yeah, he does it every day. Oh, every day, okay. Okay, Shit, so I... That's how you sleep this morning. Snoring. Something's wrong, right? Does he sleep like that? Yeah, I put him on the sofa. Cause he was snoring. He was snoring. He was still snoring. He was asleep. Like, and I see he had food in his mouth. So I'm like, how the fuck you fall asleep with food? Oh, yeah. Is this, food they, this is the food they was eating. Look at this. Does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. No, nah, like with his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. I would I would have called somebody if I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If, 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 if it didn't look normal, I would have been dead. Mm -hmm. But like I've seen him sleep like that before. But with the mouths and stuff like that, yeah.
Lord, when I got up just now. So you saw them last one on the sofa or on the floor? The sofa. They saw them put them on the floor. On the floor. But I put them on the sofa. Okay. I'm the one that dragged them and put them right here. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. you okay. Then you when he came back from dropping the kids to school, you went upstairs? No, I went back in our room. You went back in our room? Yeah, okay, but when, I came, when he came back, he was still asleep. He was still asleep, okay. So he came back when I what time? Like 8, 15, 8.30. Eight 15, 8.30, was still sleeping? Okay. What's his name? Uh, DeQuantis Lamar. Is that which one was born? That's what I was thinking at first. I don't see that. Is he an artist or something? Is he an artist? It, it was them pills. It was them pills. And, and it wasn't a lot of pills because he just came back from out of town. He just got back from out of town. And, and, and at the end of the day, when he took that shit, when he right. took that shit on Wednesday night, right. when he took that shit on Wednesday night, I don't give a fuck. That girlfriend, she know who gave it to him, when they gave it to him, and, 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 and where he got it from. So it's all up to her to spill the beans on what the fuck happened mm -hmm. and where he got it from. Now, let me ask you this question. Now, did you hear? I'm pretty sure you did. You heard the 911 call, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I heard it. What's your yeah, thought? What's your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that is just it, it's 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 normal. You know why? You know why I'm gonna say it's normal? Mm. Because when you it's normal for you to just go to bed without that nigga. That's it's true. Normal. That's true. That's that's true. That's it's that's normal. True. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna that's leave true. you on 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 the spot. I'm gonna leave you right here. When you wake up, you get up, you come to bed. You don't come to bed. Hey, I'm gonna holler at you in the morning and. And I feel like it was genuine. Only thing I thought, only thing that I can say, one hundred. I just put, I just put it down for her to put it out. Where he got it from, when he took it, and who he got it from. Period. Because on G Street, on G Street, we connect from G Street. Because we call it family. We call it family on G Street. No matter what. So no let me ask this question. No Hold on. So 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 nobody else died from that though. Let's 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 talk about it. Nobody else died from it, right? Did anybody die today? No. Yesterday? No. But but so, so, so my point is so so if everybody know where it's coming from, uh, allegedly, allegedly, we, we, this is live. Allegedly, how is it that he's the one that got the dirty batch? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen to this. Yes, listen to this. One hundred. He got cousins, nephews, and everything that was with him. They were doing the same thing. I said the same. So why he ain't there when he left? So he probably seen him fucking um croak, die, respectfully, rest in peace, and, and, and bounce. That's what I'm saying. But but what I'm saying is we don't we don't know because guess what? The family ain't even seen it. And I was about to ask that. No, so nobody ain't seen him since. Nobody ain't seen nope. it since. Nope. There nope. you have it. Nope. It's it's and you said it. I can't say it no better than that. Mm. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you another day. I bet you I don't sell no dope to nobody I don't know. Right. I bet you that. That's true. Absolutely. You know why? You know why I ain't gonna sell nothing to nobody I don't know? Because I don't know you. Right. That's a fact. Know, That's the first rule. I don't know you. You don't get served. Yeah, I don't know you, so you don't get served. You could be anybody. Did you ever meet um his girlfriend, his baby mom's, Rich Homie Kwan's? Yes. All these other people that's in the street, that they, they just, they just clout, clout chase. At the end of the day, it was only one, and that was the one that you heard on the tape. The rest of the folk was just getting money. Now, that's it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, they just get money. They was just getting money. Every, everybody that you see that's posting shit was just getting money. That's it. Right. You can tell that Rich Homie Kwan was doing his thing as well. 
right? We don't know. We don't know what's going on at home, their relationship or whatnot. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. he's on live and, and and he's kissing on Erica Banks and um sending the 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 the, uh, the, the inbox to her that I, I wanted to holler at you, but I ain't want to get rejected and um the, the other the other girl and all it's that all shit. It's all about money. It's all about money, Mike. It don't even matter. It's all about that bread. It, it, That's true. I mean, it's all about money. It, it doesn't matter. That, what I just... Brother? Child, it looks like Rich Homie Kwan's death might not just be an OD as most of us were able to believe. Because the police are now finding some inconsistencies in his death that allude to him possibly being poisoned by somebody very close to him. This came as a shock to a lot of people because Kwan was one of the sweetest people and nobody could ever imagine why anybody would want him dead. But see, this is where things get interesting because some of his fans are desperately looking for answers and they're now pointing fingers at his grieving baby mama, Amber, for allegedly being behind his death. People claim she's the only one who had motive to take him out and that the police should be looking into her. These rumors got fueled when the 911 call she made on the morning she found Quan was leaked to TMZ. And according to People, she sounded nothing like somebody who was distressed about her baby daddy possibly losing his life. Brother saw rich homie Quan on the floor, unconscious, with food in his mouth. He just lifted him according to him he lifted him put him on the couch didn't check that man pulse didn't check if that man was breathing look here's the thing ladies and gentlemen the internet has some suspicions about rich homie kwan's cause of death chow it's getting real messy audio recording just dropped of none other than rich homie kwan spitting a whole verse to law enforcement about young thug Sleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning, put a blanket over him, and now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um he is. He's um 34. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quick. Ma'am? Yes. Okay, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. He's not here. Yeah, he, Were you able to get him course. to the floor? 
Yes, he not. His heart not be like anything. I'm going to stay on the line with you, okay? What's okay. After Rich Homie Kwon's death, do you know how much inheritance he left for his girlfriend and children? In recent days, Rich Homie Kwon died at home. At that time, his girlfriend Amber Williams was sending their son to school. When she came back, she found him lying on the sofa unresponsive with white foam at the mouth. So she quickly called the emergency number. But unfortunately, his life couldn't be saved in the end. Later, his family and the Fulton County Medical Examiner's office confirmed his death. They didn't disclose the cause of his death but just stated that they were looking into it. However, some singer revealed that he died from taking a large number of bad pills, and this statement has not been confirmed. Although he was only 33 years old, his net worth had reached $3.5 million, which came from his music career and real estate investments. Before he became a rapper, he was too poor to go to school and had to work to support himself. Later, after losing his job, he resorted to theft. Finally, he entered the music industry. In 2013, he achieved great success with Type of Way and his life began to get prosperous. Regarding his death, his colleagues and his fans have mourned him on social media and praised his songs and collaborations. So the police report regarding the passing of Rich Homie Kwan has been released. I want to go over it with y'all and then I want y'all to let me know what y'all think. Now, you can pause to read, but the report states that Rich Homie Kwan was found by his brother on the kitchen floor at 3 a.m. in the morning. His brother had believed that Kwan had fell asleep, but he found it weird that Kwan had food in his mouth. Now, his brother proceeded to pick him up and place him on the sofa. It also states that Rilla, which is Kwan's baby mom slash girlfriend, says that when she got up, she saw him asleep on the sofa. She says that when she came back home from taking the kids to school that he was still asleep on the couch. So she went back to bed, fell asleep, and did not wake up until 11 a.m. That's when she went to go check on him and realized that he was cold. Now when the officer arrived on the scene, he did state that Quan was not conscious, alert, or breathing. And that's when he was later transferred to Grady Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, what I find weird is that Quan was found by his brother, who literally saw him laid out 3 a.m. in the morning on the kitchen floor with food in his mouth and didn't think to check his pulse, didn't think to see if he was breathing. He literally just picked him up and laid him on the couch. I'm not going to speculate anything or accuse anybody of anything, but, but in my opinion, I feel like it does not make sense and something is very off. It has been ruled as a no crime, but it's still under a pending investigation. It's still unbelievable. I feel like flies. I, I can't, I don't want to accept it, but I have to, you know? I don't know, my brother, he hurt, he hurt me with this. He hurt me, man. But to see him grow and to know like we started this from a karaoke machine. Like my brother made his own beats. He recorded himself. He learned how to do all that with no school, you know, like I would be outside playing sports and he would be in the house on a computer. Like, it's just what he was. He perfected his craft and I stood there and I watched him grow every day, every night. I traveled with him everywhere. He took us from around 285 to flights to Dubai. In 2014, I traveled the world with a passport. Like, since I was a child, my mom always made me walk to the bathroom with my brother, and he was the oldest. You know, it's just, you know, I could be mid-bite. Like, get up, you better go follow him to that bathroom, you know? So, I was always his protector, you know? Even though he was the oldest, I always walked through them doors first. And he has now opened up doors for his family, for us to continue and be better than what we were yesterday. So I want to applaud him and tell him that I appreciate him from taking me from 285, Old National, to the east side, to endless flights, from instant oatmeal and cereal, to continental breakfast. You know, not, and from continental breakfast to personal chefs. You know what I'm saying? Like we, went, we went from apartments. You know, sometimes no hot water, man. Like we, we, we didn't stop. 
rich homie Quan snitching. At this point, I'm not even surprised. Not only has more paperwork dropped in the YSL case, but an audio recording just dropped of none other than rich homie Quan spitting a whole verse to law enforcement about Young Thug. While it may be hard for some to understand Rich Homie speaking a language native to the streets of Atlanta, what he's speaking on is the very murder that would cause the fall of YSL. I got one of the there are shell casings up and down the street. Now I'm told one of the men who was shot, a man in his mid-20s, is in critical condition, but that his status could change for the worse overnight. Rich homie Quan's former manager, Donovan Thomas, who went by the name Peanut or Big Nut, was a member of the Englewood family bloods. His 2015 assassination outside of an Atlanta barber shop would result in a back and forth war between Inglewood family and sex money murder. The majority of the violence would be documented in the YSL indictment. Prosecutors allege Young Thug was in communications with sex money murder leader Kyle Ory, who's currently serving a life sentence in Georgia State Prison. Big Note was said to have snitched against members of the gang, and prosecutors allege Young Thug orchestrated his death by renting the vehicle YSL members would later use to commit the drive-by that took Nut's life. After the hit, Thug and the alleged shooters would take a trip to Miami to lay low. Rich homie Quan would speak with investigators explaining he never saw a thug in Atlanta after the murder. He was going to confront him at a Miami show over the rumors that thug played a part in Nut's death. Rich homie would allege people knew thug had something to do with it, but they couldn't prove it. He'd then say he isn't a rat and he isn't telling, he's just keeping it real with investigators. Rich homie would also allege thug was jealous of the relationship he had with Nut as Thug wanted to control the Atlanta music scene and Nut was keeping Rich Homie at a distance from Thug. This wasn't all Rich Homie would speak on though. Two pictures of the interview transcripts would make its way to News Made It. Rich Homie would state him and Thug frequented or resided in the same condominium leading up to Nut's death and that they were cool. But after the murder, they drifted apart. 14 minutes into the interview, Rich Homie would speak on his truck being shot up and immediately calling Young Thug, alleging his people were behind it. He'd then speak on his father's barber shop being shot up, and knowing whoever did it had something to do with Nut's death. Four months before Nut was killed, a gunman would open fire inside of a barber shop, striking Rich Homie's father four times. The barber shop had just been shot up a month prior to this incident. Investigators believe the attack stemmed from Rich Homie beefing with local rappers. But at the time, Rich Homie Quan denied the rumors. Now speaking with investigators, when asked why his father would be targeted, Rich Homie explained at the time, him and Thug were doing shows together, but he was getting the most money. They wanted his dad out of the picture to further control Rich Homie's management, and they knew his dad was at the barber shop 24-7. He had no proof Thug was behind the shooting, but he did bring up an argument his dad had with Birdman. His father wouldn't share the details on what was said, but would later tell him we're gonna fall back from them. 22 minutes into the interview, Rich Homie was asked why he wouldn't sign with Birdman, and he explained other artists are constantly complaining about their financial situation. He felt he'd make more money on his own, and then later sign. Rich Homie would say that after Nut was killed, he didn't contact Thug, and Thug didn't contact him. Thug would move out of the condo about two weeks after the murder, and when asked why Thug called him Bitch Homie Quan two months after Nut's death, he didn't have an answer. Providing the investigator with Young Thug's phone numbers, 
The investigator asked if Thug ever made any threatening messages to him, but Rich Homie would state he's smarter than that. Roughly 30 minutes into the interview, the paperwork would be cut off. So realistically, we don't know how long Rich Homie sat down with investigators, but we do know he's on the YSL witness list. This leaves the possibility that Rich Homie would be called in to testify against Thug, as he'd have to recite everything said in the interview in front of Young Thug. So did Rich Homie Quan snitch? Absolutely. He's a legend Thug was behind the murder of Nut, the shooting of his father, and the shooting of his truck. Rich Homie would say he's keeping it real with investigators, and regardless of whether or not he portrayed a street lifestyle and abides by the street code, this is another major loss for the city of Atlanta as another Atlanta rapper has cooperated. Now this is bad, and from what I heard from a source in Atlanta, the DA is trying to find out who's leaking all this, and they're trying to put charges on people for leaking this information. Because stuff like this will make a witness not want to cooperate. And if a witness is like, hey, I just got exposed by so-and-so and they just released all this stuff that y'all said wasn't gonna get released, I don't want nothing to do with this, I don't want to testify, the courts can then charge that person with tampering with the witness. You just affected the case by fucking up a witness testimony. So this is getting deep. They're trying to find out who exposed YSL Woody. I guarantee you they're trying to find out who just released the audio to Rich Homie Quan. I feel that a lot of people are going to have different opinions in this situation. Does Rich Homie Quan abide by the street code? I never heard of him having a gang affiliation. I don't really remember him talking about shooting people, this, that, and the third. He's saying a close friend of his was killed. He's willing to tell investigators everything he knows. He's saying his father was targeted and shot, and he himself was targeted and shot at. And God damn, it's just like, who else is gonna tell? Who else already told and we don't know about it? I mean, they got mad names on the witness list. Even Lil Wayne and YFN Lucci. And Lucci just denied the deal they were trying to give him in his Rico case. So I can't imagine what they have that would make him a witness in this case. But in my opinion, just from what I read, since we don't know how long this interrogation actually was, we just know it was about 30 minutes, he did bad. He definitely did bad. Definitely didn't have to say all that, but made the decision to do so. I haven't heard a response from him after everything came out on the internet. I know that the night this video is being recorded, he's supposed to be performing at the same show as Boosie and Webby, and I don't know if there's gonna be any conflict from that situation. We're just gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. But hey, let me know y'all thoughts and comments in the comments section. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. Till next time. This is how rich homie Quan died. Rich Homie Kwan, known for his hits and unforgettable style, was heading home after a late night studio session. The rapper had been grinding hard, crafting what he hoped would be his next chart topper. The roads were quiet as he drove through the city, reflecting on his career and future plans. Upon arriving home, he felt an unease in his chest, but brushed it off as exhaustion from the long night. He parked his car and walked into his house. Just moments later, tragedy struck. As he entered his living room, he suddenly collapsed, clutching his chest in pain. It was a massive heart attack, the result of stress and exhaustion. Emergency services rushed to his home, but despite their best efforts, it was too late. Rich homie Quan had passed away in his own home, sending shockwaves through the music community. His death left fans and fellow artists in disbelief, mourning the sudden loss of such a talented figure in the rap scene. A night that should have marked another chapter in his musical legacy instead became his final one. Rest in peace, rich homie Quan. You're watching Rap House TV. Man, you know, you know, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Man, my thing will be yellow because I be smoking, bro. I smoke, man. I don't know why I do it. Like, well, hey, but if I don't get my nail D, it don't turn that cold. Stay off my best weed strand I had.
It's been a couple long, but at the time, Wiz Khalifa, that, uh, Khalifa, 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 Khalifa Kush, KK, that was smoking. But I feel like my weed is strong as like right now. There's no better. If I got a strong weed, like, how about thugger? How about a rest free thugger, man? Look, y'all, don't come in here spamming, man. Here, we all know, I say it every time, free thugger, free lucha, free, anybody locked up. Don't come on my live with that, don't man, please. I'm in a good spirit today. And we gonna keep it that way. You feel me? I'm ready to see you and look at some other, bro. We working on some shit now. Been no more. But I don't wanna be like, no. I want I want to be riding like the uh, Denzel Road. Like, I don't wanna be no sh road. Cause I can change the way I talk. I don't have to talk like I'm from the hood. I can switch it up at times. You know, it really depends. It, re it really depends. You know, my vernacular, Scratches beyond. <laughs> That's what the T.I. said.